Hey guys, so I am at Dollar Tree. It is actually one of my favorite locations, but I've actually not been here in months. I don't know why, but I love this location because it is one of the largest Dollar Tree locations where I live. It's called an XO or XL. I never know which one it is. XO or XL store, which is basically like the largest location. They get tons of stuff. They get name brand stuff and they always have like the most of everything decor and it's just so much fun going to this location and I love it. So I can't wait to take you guys with me, of course, do a little shop with me. You know that I love doing Dollar Tree shop with me and cheering with you guys what I find. So if you love this kind of content, give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Turn on that little bell so you don't miss out on my uploads because I do tons of videos like this one. And let's head into my favorite store and probably yours too, Dollar Tree. <laughs> All right, so the first thing I found is this super cute, all you need is love and a cat sign. I thought that was adorable. And then I just found tons of different signs, like this one says happily ever after, and this one says be you, and I really like the beaded handle. You can also do a DIY with those. And then just a couple other little signs that I found. Thought this one was really cute. It says welcome to our home. And then I guess these are more for like kids, but still really adorable. Some new craft beads. And I really love these scripture notebooks. They're just like little notepads, but I thought the artwork on them was really pretty and I loved all these verses. I thought this one was so pretty. And this was actually the called the last minute gift section, which apparently they have pretty much all year round, not just for Christmas time. I found so much Easter stuff in this video, like these really cute plastic mason jars. You can't put these in the dishwasher because the little like artwork will rub off, just so you guys know. But this would be really cute in an Easter basket. I'm so glad that they brought these back for Easter, these little candy dispensers. These fit mini M&Ms perfectly. This one is a bunny and then this one is just shaped like an Easter egg. These bins are so cute. This one says Easter is on its way. You can use these for really anything. It can be an Easter basket or just for storage. This one says bunny kisses and Easter wishes. I really like that these have handles. This one says bunny trail. And this one is says shake your cotton tail with a cute picture of a bunny. These are just like some interesting shaped dishes. This one had a bunnies on it. This one says happy Easter. And then I love these jars. They're just plastic, but they're actually two pieces and each of them has a different design. And that one has a little truck. This one has a bunny on it. It's so interesting, like every store I go to, I find new Easter items that I haven't seen before. So each store gets different stock. These are just some really fun jars that I found. Bunnies be hopping. And this one had a little chick on it. I found so many cute Easter eggs. They really got creative this year with all the different styles. We have these pearly eggs. We also have animal shaped ones. And I loved the bunny Easter baskets. Their selection was huge. So I'm sure you can find the Easter basket for your kids here if you're looking for one. Thought this one was super adorable as well. And then they had a really fun unicorn one. I loved these mermaid shells. These were also Easter eggs, but you can use them really for anything. And they have a really pretty pearl finish. And then they had these bunny shapes. 
along with these metallic eggs. So I just can't believe how much selection they had. So many different styles to choose from. They have more than just plain eggs now. And we also have some fun Easter bags for gifts, as well as a couple cute ones with different patterns. Some more bags, or not really bags, they're like these stand-up boxes that you can use, um, and they're a little more like solid and reusable. Some cute pastel Easter grass and some different Easter signs. I really like that these have like a 3D feel to them. This is as Easter Bunny stops here. We have some really cute bunny steaks for a garden along with these Easter eggs that you can fill up with whatever your heart desires. Could be candy, anything. And there were a few different colors, of course, to choose from. They had these egg-shaped chalks along with these bunny holders. And I've been showing these in pretty much every video. They have these really fun silicone uh, um, bunny-shaped baking molds, which you can use in the oven. I loved this carrot twine garland. So adorable. I definitely picked that up. Moving over to the garden section, I found this adorable bee honeycomb inspired fairy garden piece and these are all ceramic so they're really nicely made and they're just so cute. It really makes me want to have a fairy garden. I loved this boot shape one. It reminded me of like, what is that movie? I can't remember the name, but <laughs> they also had these beach summer inspired garden uh ceramic instrument 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 ceramic figurines as well I can't talk today and then these cute little houses I loved this a butterfly chair and they just had a lot of different figurines some cute some cool garden gnomes along with these mesh planters these are like kind of that boho feel and it only looks like the actual thing that it is when you put the pot in it or else it just looks like a piece of mesh these are like huggers for your um, plant stands and I know this garden fence is really popular for DIYs and crafts. They also carry now just like plain blocks of wood which I think is really cool so if you need them for a craft project. This is a cutting board which is really handy especially for fabric. Here is the famous vinyl display. I'm so excited that they came out with so much vinyl. It's really exciting and this is um, the, the purple one and it seems like they're always coming out now with new colors and new designs which is so fun. I still have to try mine. They have these new wood numbers and also galvanized letters which are really cute. I haven't been crafting too much recently. I haven't felt too inspired but I know people make so many cute videos. This is a craft scraper for the Silhouette and Cricut. So much cool fabric today to choose from. So I just wanted to show you guys um, as many cute patterns as I could find. And these are like little quarters of fabric that you can use for anything really. You can sew them, make whatever you want. They had really cool tie-dye patterns. And then a bunch of like plaid patterns which were really cute as well. I really liked these two. That one striped one reminded me of Hearth and Hand. Onto the book section, one of my favorites. They had this chocolate coupon book. And it was just like different little, um, I guess like ideas you could do for chocolate. Like have a slice of chocolate cake, have a truffle. And I had never seen that before. It was cool. And there was little like to and from tags as well. Okay, I found just random books that I'm going to share with you guys. I always love coming to this section because um, they have really good stuff. So they had so many kids books that were like, I don't want to say like high end, but like books that are like $15 to $20 at a regular bookstore. And these would be great for 
a kid's room or like this was actually a book by Julianne Moore who's the actress which I thought was really cool so like you can even get these for like someone's baby shower um this is another one I thought was really nice This is a Moana book from Disney. This is a knitting book with different like patterns for knitting. And then this I keep finding it's the best baby names for boys. And it's actually a really cool gift you can get someone um, who is pregnant because it gives you so many different ideas and like meanings of the names. This one's called Are We There Yet? Another kid's book. And I thought this one was so cute. It was the Weather Girls. So they really had just a huge selection. You can see that was like $18 retail. I love these little mid-century modern looking candles. These are just so pretty and they look really high end. Um, I think these are gorgeous. So that one's more is like wood and this one is more metal. And I love this one. It's the same but in gold. And they also have a lot of these like iridescent candle holders for votives. And you can really put anything in here. It doesn't just have to be candles. We have some new signs. This one says hello. This one says gather. And then a couple other ones as well. I've just been so amazed how much inventory they've been getting in recently. It really seems like they have more stuff now than ever before. These makeup bags were so nice. The material was very thick. It was like a neoprene type of material, like how a bathing suit feels. And they had a lot of cute little sayings, and I really liked the font on here. They also had these new makeup bags. That one said, Stay Wild. Another one, really cute with the um, cheetah. I love these Hask Greek yogurt deep conditioners for your hair. They are so nice. And they really do moisturize and work very well. This is the wine inspired line. Like they're inspired by different rosé and I don't know, different types of wines, I guess. And this one's just like their Greek yogurt conditioner. This little mini brush I thought was really cute. It reminded me of wet brush. And this would be nice for a kid or just like traveling if you want to throw something into your bag really quick. And I like that it had glitter on it. These are new. They're the Smile Line Gel Patches from Dollar Tree's new Be Pure line. And then just a few different like gel face masks from Global Beauty Care. I love their Eyebrow Razor 3 Pack. It works so well. I use these all the time, so I like to stock up on those. And of course, the mini gel lamp works so well. Then I found these new colors of their battery-powered fans, which are actually really nice. I have one of those from last year. This is a name brand USB wall charger. And then I also found these colored baskets, which are really pretty and really nice quality. You can use those for so many different purposes. I love their new spray bottles. The colors were really beautiful, like very just light and springy. And I really like this blue one as well. They also had some matching spring colored Tupperware. These are two packs. I love the pink. And then they also had blue, another beautiful spring color. And then I loved this new color of the silicone spatulas. On to my next Dollar Tree location, I found these new Color Me hair color and conditioner. So this one is just like a temporary pink hair color and these are name brand and they also had purple as well. So let me know if you guys have found these and tried them yet. I'm too chicken to try anything with bright colors in my hair. These are new hair masks from Bolero and then here is something I was so excited about. It's this new um, Celluplex plant thicker fuller hair name brand shampoo and it's supposed to make your hair um, thicker and fuller so so many people have told me that they've tried this and they really like it so let me know if you have found this at your store what do you think I would definitely try this out it is a good brand these are new bolero body washes they have a lot of different ones to choose from some things from bolero I like some things I don't like it's definitely like a hit or miss brand but the vanilla bean and coconut one sounded really nice. And they also had tons of body scrubs to choose from. 
I just wonder how do they get through all this inventory? <laughs> they have so much stuff in their line. Okay, we also have these new name brand face wipes. This is like a K Beauty brand. And they have these sheet masks as well. This one was like the fruity facial mask. They have these new Bolero jelly facial masks. They actually upgraded their packaging and I thought it was really pretty. I always get mixed reviews on their stuff, but I think some of their skincare is actually really good. Um, this is the jelly facial serum and some of their stuff actually has pretty good ingredients in it. This is another jelly facial serum. We also have their cleansing face balm. These work really well for a double cleanse. Do you guys hear Oliver in the background? This is the facial hydrator with coconut oil and watermelon. Okay, this is a great find. It's the SB Soapbox Sea Minerals Soap. This is a name brand. It's a great brand because they don't have any artificial colors or anything bad in their soap. I also found this new Suave Milk and Honey full-size soap. This is another name brand, new fine, and it says it's supposed to be comparable to Bath & Body Works scents. This is another Suave fine. This is their Peachy Clean hand soap. I saw this also at Walmart the other day. I think it was like $2 at Walmart. So a bit of a savings there. Okay, on to the makeup section. I found the new Ioni highlight brush, which if you guys saw my haul, I did pick this up and I can't wait to try this. It's a really nice brush and super soft. They also have this concealer brush, which is really nice, not only for concealing, but also you can use this for all over shadow or cutting the crease. This is a great find. They had tons of chapstick stuff. This is the Chapstick Hydration Lip Scrub. I think this was from Holiday Launch because it is a holiday scent. They had the Believe Tinted Moisturizers and the Infallible Paint Mattes from L'Oreal. They had so many of these in really pretty nude shades. I can't wait to try those out. This is a brand that I've been finding recently. It's a German brand called Titania. This is a pumice scrub and I thought this would be so great for like calluses or to like keep it in the shower. And I was just trying to show you guys like the texture of it. It's really nice. Then we have more of the L'Oreal Infallible Mattes. They also had some of the ones that were more like glossy. And here I'll show you guys all the ones that I found. Lots of bright colors. This is a new find, the NYX Butter Lip Balm. I have not tried this one yet. We also have the Alme um, Shade Adjusting Concealers, which I have found for a few months now. Believe Nail Polishes. This is a really nice nude shade if you like that kind of like mannequin hands look. More infallible matte paints. I really liked this color. Okay, then I found these adhesive nail ta tabs. This is if you want to use fake nails but you don't want to use glue. More chapstick items. This is the uh, Very Berry tinted lip balm with SPF. They also had some new fake nails. This is where those tabs would come in handy. Soft matte lip cream from NYX. I found a couple new colors that I hadn't seen before. It's like a purpley pink. This is a new brand, Kala, Kala at Dollar Tree. This is a lip brush. I've been finding a lot of lip brushes recently. This is the Soft Matte Lip Creams in a couple new colors. I ha found another one of the Moisture and Tint from Chapstick. This is the Color Sensational Lip Liner from Maybelline in Toast. Oh my gosh, this is the most gorgeous Ioni packaging I've ever seen. Look how pretty it is with the cherub. They did such an amazing job on this collection. This is a natural doll light. I also found this Kala Kala, like, mm, just, it's just like a mascara wand that you can use for like your brows or your lashes. I also found this BYS paddle brush. Yes to Bootyful Booty Paper Mask for your tush. 
these smile line gel patches oh I showed you guys these before so here they are again these are the new hyaluronic acid serums from CBI I have heard some good reviews on these this is awesome. It's an exfoliating foot for, foot treatment for your mask. This is actually the foot mask that gets off, peels off all the dead skin. Have you guys seen those before? This is that. So if you want to try that, snag these, but do it when you're not going to have like bare feet, you know, don't do it in the summer. And this one is the moisturizing one. So I'm really curious to try that peeling one because my feet, I have so many calluses, you guys, it's really gross. Sorry, TMI. Okay, I found another one of the Chapstick Lip Hydrations. This is in Peachy Keen. I really like these like peachy lip colors. So I was like, maybe I'll try that one out of all the colors. But look, they had so many. It was crazy. And then I found the Ioni display with the gorgeous packaging. I loved this line. They seriously do such an amazing job. I found three styles left at my store. And this is the only time I found it. But look how stunning those flowers are this is um, wispy natural light and then I found this one which was also beautiful wispy crisscross so that is it you guys thank you so much for shopping with me I hope you enjoyed seeing my huge Dollar Tree shop with me I found so much stuff much more to come love you guys subscribe comment like and I'll see you in my next one bye <laughs>